we're going to continue it on with the uh, reactor. So we've got the main reactor tank done. So all the layers are in, so everything's welded up. We did, uh, I think, five uh, leak tests on the reactor piece itself. We've got the uh, bottom plate, the choke mantle, the air jacket, the pyrolysis layer, and the condensate. So we've got all that welded up and leak tested. Now we're going to add on the heat exchange box, which goes on the outside. So the heat exchange box isn't isn't really complicated piece, but it's complicated in the way that it has to be put on the reactor. And it starts with the uh, with the air intake. Now these are just mock-ups that I made, just that I use in the workshop for training. Uh, but basically we have uh, a stainless steel air intake with uh, one and a half inch tube, and we've got these heat fins, and the the air intake is going to be welded on the side here right in front of the gas exit so the idea here is that we're going to preheat the air coming in so as the gas is coming out here it's hot five seven hundred degrees it's going to heat the air cold air coming in uh, to the uh, combustion chamber which helps in the combustion process and then the gas is going to rise and with a divider plate we're going to go in this hole we're going to circulate around the paralysis line or then we're going to come out and we're going to exit the uh, the heat exchange. So the first thing is when we do this, we have to we have to kind of dry fit, get everything in place because we have to weld this piece on, and this has to be leak tested as well. So we have to weld all this up. We've got to leak test it because the last thing we want to do is have have a leak in this where we're going to mix air and gas. So we're going to leak test this. Then this has to be dry fit on there. Then this has to be welded on onto here, a good solid weld here. And then we're going to basically build this box piece by piece on the reactor. So the, the heat exchange piece itself, looking at, that's the top and this is the bottom. So we've got two clean-out ports. We've got a two-inch two clean-out port on the bottom. We've got a two-inch clean-out port on the back. Um, so it would, be on the, it would be on the reactor this way. We've got this divider plate which goes in here, which is going to force the gas to go around the pyrolysis liner and then out. So the gas is coming up here, rising, going in, around, coming back into this little chamber here, and then out. Now right now, in the past, uh, the original book, we come out this way, and then we do uh, a U-bend that goes into the cooling assembly. We're, we're changing that design so that we're not coming out the top. We're going to come out this the side here and go directly with a 90 bend into the cooling assembly. Uh, that'll make it a little bit cleaner when we put the lid on the system. This tube coming out won't interfere with the lid hinge. So, uh, but this is how it's laid out, but we have to build it on to the reactor. So what we're going to do is we'll start with the bottom plate, then we'll add this plate. The front plate will fit where that needs to be for the uh, air intake. And then we'll start building the other the box all the way around it. And then lastly, we'll put this back plate on. The very last piece that's going to get put on is this piece here, because we have to weld inside, make sure that this piece is completely sealed from this piece. We don't want the gas coming in here, mixing into this. We want it. We want to force the gas to come here and to go around and come into this chamber and then exit the uh, the heat exchange. Okay, makes sense. Okay. So you have it about right, right up in here like that. Yeah. Okay. And then the bottom plate's gonna sit on, mm -hmm. on top of that. So continuing on our heat exchange box, so what we did is we put in our divider plate which kind of sets the position of where the box is going to be up and down 
and then we just tacked these two plates so that we could position where the air intake goes. We built the air intake assembly separate, we leak tested it, and then we fit it back on here and uh, we're able to weld it in place here, weld it, and then we, we welded the uh, one and a quarter inch nipple here on the outside. So now we've got everything squared and in place. Now from this point on, we can just add the remaining parts of the box. So what we'll do, we'll add the lower side panel here, we'll add this divider, we'll put this top on, and then the upper side panel is the last piece. What we're gonna come in here, we're gonna make a chamber that make sure that this chamber is completely sealed. Um, and then we'll put the back plate on and seal everything up. And then we will do a leak test for this. But to leak test this box, we actually have to come in through the reactor. So what we'll end up doing is we'll put the bottom plate on, we'll put the lid on, um, and then we'll bring air into the air intake. Uh, and then we'll be able to test the outside welds to the box and make sure that it's leak tight. So a total of five, six, seven leak tests for, for the reactor and heat exchange pieces alone. Okay, all right, looking good. All right, so here we are back. We've got our heat exchange pretty well done. So the order that we did is we did the, the air intake first. Then we put in the bottom plate and the side plate. And now we're kind of building the box around it. Then we can added the, the lower side panel and we did the internal welds here. Then the last thing that we're gonna do is gonna be the upper side panel. Now what we're gonna get ready to do is we're gonna put the, the back panel on, we're gonna weld that on, and then we're gonna be left with this upper side panel which is gonna be a sealed chamber. We're gonna do all the welds in here. And then the very last thing we're gonna do is put on the upper side panel here. We're gonna drill this hole for the gas exit to come out to go to the cooling assembly but everything's looking good, everything's squared, uh, good solid welds, and then once we get that completed, then we're gonna do a complete leak test uh, that's gonna be the whole reactor, and we'll be able to test the weld uh, on the uh, outside of the heat exchange, okay? So now we've got the reactor completed, we've got the heat exchange pretty well completed. Now we're going to do the leak test on the whole system to, to, to test the heat exchange. We had to put a, a cover on the top of the reactor and a cover on the bottom and now we're going to feed air into the air intake and we're they're going to test all these exterior welds around the outside of the heat exchange. So got our soapy water solution, we're going to test down here. And this is also, we can test the auxiliary port ones too. Where's the other one? Over there. Okay, test her. Oh, you see one? The other side of it. Looking good. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh there's start, one. There's one. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Okay. See where it is? Yeah, I see it. I can, I'll, I'll zap that. Yeah. Okay, that's the only one I've seen. So that's pretty good. One tiny leak.